Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fly Dressing Made Easy. My name is Trevor Jones and tonight the pattern we're going to be tying is the Little Winter Brown or the alternative name is the Light Woodcock. As you can see we've got a size 12 hook in the vise. To that we're going to attach slightly behind the eye a nice fine orange silk or orange thread and I'm using this particular thread just to show you the alternative to using the, the traditional Purcell's Gossamer. This is a, a thread called Nano Silk from a company called Semperfly. It's very very fine, very strong and quite nice to use because of its thinness I'm able to actually take several layers for the body without and I say without getting any noticeable build up of bulk and I'm looking for a nice deep rusty shade so I'm taking two turns and I'm going to come back and I'm taking a third layer to give us that nice rich orange colour. And as you can see I just caught the point of the hook then on a lot of the threads that would have actually snapped. So as I say this thread is very very strong. Okay so we need to put a little bit of wax on the thread and then we need the tiniest tiniest amount of fur off a of hair's ear. Slide him up. Don't worry if you put too much on and you get to the to the eye and you find that you've got too much. Don't worry, take it off. We've actually not dubbed that wonderfully well. But as you can see we're getting that nice wispy effect. We could do with a little bit more actually there. Just a tiny tiny amount. Just as I say we were a little bit short of fur there so it's a simple matter of putting a little bit more on. Now that looks a little bit better. There we go. As you can see, we've got lots of straggly bits, but the underbody is showing through nicely. So, the hackle. Well, the hackle is woodcock. And as you can see, I've taken the fibres off one side of the stem, leaving the others. This is what the feather looked like originally. Yeah. So, as you can see, I have prepared it, and we've got the little tuft, which we're going to actually dispense with mostly, and that's what we're going to place in that spot there. There we go, and. We're going to wind that towards the eye, being careful not to actually overlay the previous turn of hackle, otherwise it will flatten the hackle out and oops. And if it flattens the hackle out it, it lays lays down too much 
and you don't get that flared effect. So you want two, two and a half turns, no more. Okay. There we go. Always try and finish your flies off neatly if you can. It probably doesn't make the slightest difference to the fish. And as I found over the years, sometimes the scruffiest looking creations are the ones that actually do the most damage as regards catching fish. But certainly if you want to people to look in your box and admire what you've made, it's 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 as well to finish them off neatly and there's I've seen so many flies really really well tied and yet because they've been finished off sort of untidily they don't look their best okay now as you know I've finished it by hand so tighten it up and little tip I think I've shown you previously put tension on the thread and then when you actually cut that thread the tag end disappears under the turns of whip finish and the hook will actually spring back upwards like just like that so there we have it the little winter brown go. I'll just leave the camera on that for, for a couple of seconds. Very very nice fly to fish with. Fishing the old spider patterns it's lovely. I hope you will get round to, you may have used them before, I, if you have I hope you get round to actually tying them. And this is one of the older lesser known patterns probably but very very effective. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, well I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it, and I'm going to say good night to you all, and thank you very much.